Hey guys, it is Rachel Feldman and Michelle Ellis. We are here today because we wanted to go over how to start and grow your business. One of the things that coaches ask me all the time is they're like, I'm brand new. I don't know where to start. And I've been getting a lot of brand new coaches. So if you are watching the replay and you are a brand new coach, put brand new in the comments and I'll be sure to come back to the comments and see if you have any questions. What we want to dive into is where to start when you first get that certification. So one thing I want you to think about is coming out, getting your certification, getting your business account set up. You need to get your tax ID. You need to get your business account set up at your bank. And that's where you start as far as setting up the basics. Make sure that you don't, it's called commingle. You want to make sure that you have, hey, Sharon, how are you doing? You want to make sure that you're spending the money out of your business account for your account to make it also easy to pay taxes. The next thing you want to do is look for liability insurance. Michelle, did you have liability insurance? I did, but gosh, I don't remember who it was through. I Actually, think mine was Philadelphia Insurance Company. Yeah, I, mine was through that association, the American Association of Drug right. Practitioners, okay. and then they gave recommendations for insurance. And guys, there are a lot of great, if you go into my free group, which is how to meet your health coach business, there are some great conversations in there about different um different insurance companies. Mm -hmm. and if you can't find it, make sure to tag me, say, Rachel, help, where are insurance companies? So that's the basics of getting started. You want to make sure you have a certification. You want to make sure that you have your business account set up. And you want to make sure that, of course, you have liability. Now we jump into the holy moly, <laughs> what do I do? Because I have all these moving pieces. Mm -hmm. You have your social media, you have your list building efforts that are happening all the time. You have your website. You have your signature offers. Um, but before we jump into that, what do you need to know? You need to know your niche. Michelle, can you talk a little about knowing your niche and why it's so why it's so important to niche down? Yeah, I experienced this too when I first came out of health coaching school. It was really like I felt like this amazing, which I was like, I got this amazing holistic nutrition certification. Uh, niche was not talked about at all whatsoever. Actually, nothing super businessy was talked about. It was mostly the, the training to be a coach. So when I came out, I thought, well, I can just help whoever needs my help. With help everyone. Learned. Drop yeah. one in the comment <laughs> if you felt that you could help everyone or you still feel like People are coming to you with all these different problems and you're not, and you don't know how to niche down because you're scared to lose those people. Exactly. And I think that the biggest change for me, um, it happened kind of simultaneously. It was realizing like, what was my story? How did I have to like share? Well, why did I even become, it was a, a common question. Well, why did you become a health coach from people I knew my warm market, you know? And I was like, well, you know, I was actually looking into this for myself. You know, I figured if I could learn this, I could bridge the gap with my own gut health, my own issues, um, anxiety, things like that. I really, really wanted to specialize in that. And then it just kind of went, okay, well, then I, my story was being shared. People were starting to come to me for that. Then I was doing workshops in, in those topics. And it like organically morphed into a niche. And then I slowly realized that okay, this is really important. Like I, I have to claim this a bit more. Like on my website it was super I like genuine. Conviction. I think yeah. that's the thing when I see coaches who don't have, who are not making money. Mm -hmm. is that there is a lack of like claiming the niche and saying, this is what I want to be known for. So it's mm -hmm. like knowing your niche is really important. Doing the market research to find out what is your ideal client struggling with what is their pain and what solution are they looking for? And if, you, if you're having a tough time finding people to do that, in the beginning, what I did is I reached out to like 10 friends that I knew fit my ideal client avatar. I remember, knew what I wanted to be known for. So that's step one. Step two is figure out what the heck these people are looking to fix and then do the market research so you can hear how do people actually say their problems, not in the health coach words, because I think we can get stuck there, but how are they actually saying the problems and what 
not in our assumption, but like, what are people looking to fix? Because that's what you really want to have your signature offers reflect. Yeah. And it's really cool, you know, because when you come out and, and you're sharing like, yeah, you know, this is what I'm doing now. I went to school for this. The first people, I mean, for me anyway, to cling to me were people who were really suffering in their health. And they were like, do you help with this? Do you help with this? I tried this. This didn't work for me. You know, I'm taking this over the counter thing every single day. It's not helping me with this problem. And I, I really just sat back and I was like, well, I mean, of course I could help a lot of these people with you know, different things and walk them through that six month journey that we had back at the time, you know, through IIN. But I really thought like, well, what do I really want to do? And so when I saw you actually had come out in one of the marketing groups with like a detox program, I was like, man, that's the great, perfect start because I can start anyone there and then see like where this takes us to lead. A nice detox elimination diet to help somebody start. I, I too use that um, because I needed a baseline. Yeah, that was everyone, what I felt like everyone was coming to me with so many different problems from weight loss to yeah. high blood pressure to um, high cholesterol, all of it. Yeah. yeah, it was like I felt I felt overwhelmed. I mm-hmm. felt like I was and and be really careful. Do not go outside of your scope. I think that's a really mm-hmm. important thing for how yes. successful. But it's like people were coming to me for everything. And I started thinking what is this process that I want to take people through? When you're thinking about that process, this is really your signature offer. And it really, your signature freebie is the baby step to that next step. So I started saying, well, I want to be known for gut because Mm -hmm. gut was a major issue. I wanted, and I knew that one of the reasons that people would buy was like food allergies and intolerances and sensitivities. It was part of my story. It was part of my kid's story. It was part of my own story. I started getting food intolerances like way before 18. It wasn't until 18 that I actually got tested and realized, wow, I'm eating a bunch of foods that are literally killing me. Mm. And it was that journey that I knew people would pay money for because it really affected almost every area of my life. Yeah. So I figured out my niche. I figured out my sub niche. But what was interesting is that people started coming to me for other problems, such as weight loss, mm-hmm. they have a long history of health issues, gut issues, but they were coming to me for weight loss. They were coming to me. They would say things like, I just want to detox my body. I just want to get healthy. So I started realizing that I had to talk about these individual issues consistently. So I knew my niche, Mm -hmm. I knew my sub niche. So as a sub niche is a group of people within that niche that I can further focus down on, speak to them with direct messages. And I think that's the key thing is you have to know who you're speaking to. And we're going to get into talking about ideal client avatar and how you have different avatars in just a second. But I had to figure out what were my, they call them in social media, content pillars. What were these areas that I constantly was going to dive into? Not what I wanted to be necessarily known for, but how I wanted my niche and my sub niche to relate to these content pillars. And I realized weight loss needed to be a big one. Mm -hmm. Tox was another one. And then mindset was another one. And so if I took these content pillars and constantly related them to my niche and my sub niche, I would have very clear messaging for each of these people. So recap, niche, sub niche, ideal client avatar and key messaging. And Michelle brought up a great point, which is to have your story interweave into each one of these areas so that, and you might not have a weight loss story. The only weight loss story that I had was pregnancy and losing all that weight. And then another one that I talked about was when a boy broke my heart and I gained like 17 pounds. Uh (laughs) I talked about those with my individual clients because like I said, they were coming to me for all these gut issues. But the reason that they were buying was because they wanted to lose this belly bloat in the weight. Mm -hmm. So let's dive into ideal client avatar. Too often we think that we just have this one type of person. I want you to think within your niche, these three different types of person. You have like Jane, who is a high powered CEO. She is, I always think of myself as like Jane. 
She doesn't want help. She feels that she has no time. So really understanding what are her objections, mm -hmm. yes. understanding what are the reasons that she's going to say no to buying from you. Mm -hmm. She just has, again, very little time to make any changes. She's extremely overwhelmed. She's got a number of different health issues. She breaks out in rashes when she's nervous, knowing Jane, Jane's pain points and what Jane really desires. Mm -hmm. Then you can have another, her name is Mary. And Mary also has gut issues. She's got food allergies, but she is a nine to five mom. So she drops her kids off in the morning. She is working nine to five. What is her life like? What are the different key messages within your social media or on your workshops or your webinars or in your email marketing that you need to actually say to Mary? Because Mary and Jane have very different things that they desire and very different lives. If you're speaking to Jane, you're speaking to this woman who's like got all this responsibility. She travels with her computer everywhere. She's hooked her iPad. She's hooked her phone. Mm -hmm. Well, Mary's job ends at five, but Mary doesn't really get home until about 630. She doesn't, she feels like she has no time to put food on the table. Like her, she feels guilt that she's got to work these like nine to five hours. And she feels like she isn't in the place that she thought she would be. And then you have Jack. Jack is, um, Jack is one of my favorite. He's got all these health issues. He's a real estate agent. And his wife is actually the one who's looking for Jack because Jack's got high blood pressure. He's got a whole bunch of other health issues, gut issues. They say he's got IBS. So he's got, all this stuff, but Jack's not so much worried, but it's his wife that's looking for it. So I take you through these three different avatars because they're all within gut. There's all within food allergies and intolerances. Mm -hmm. And they all have different needs. They all have different messaging needs. This is where the money is going to be made. Michelle, can you dive into talking about messaging so we can just get that really clear before we move on to the next? Yeah, the biggest thing is for like, keep in mind as you're writing and as you're, you know, you're putting stuff out there, your offers, your everything, all of your content, think about who your three are, like, who are your three people? Um, you know, your ideal clients, what do they need to hear? What's their pain? What does it feel like, you know, and how can you help solve their problems and their symptoms, especially compared to anything else they've tried and whatever other kind of marketing they are seeing. So, you know, really put yourself in their shoes. Like the person with gut issues is, you know, are they looking at uh, certain commercials offering certain prescriptions? Are they going to their doctors trying to find it? In any acids. Exactly. Like what exactly are they doing? How does it make them feel? And then you really need to be clear on the steps that you're going to walk them through to help them solve those problems. Because when you do that, then you present the opportunity for them that's different than anything else they've seen out there. And that needs to all be in your messaging, having like these little micro messages that, you know, share little mini stories, having the big picture messaging on your website. It all needs to relate uh, hit those pain points, clearly describe those problems and symptoms that they're facing and really offer a very specific solution and path to healing um, that is just very distinct and and can be seen as like, wow, that's a great opportunity. I really want to try that because I've been doing this other stuff and it hasn't been helping me. And when you can do that, you'll really connect with people on that level, you know, and feel relatable. And I think it brings us to this next, once there is massive clarity, that's when you want to do your website. Mm -hmm. yes. Because your website, I mean, look, there are tons of people. I had a website in the beginning. I spent a hundred hours and I would change it constantly. Like one little thing, I would go to my husband and say, can you read this? Can you see how this comes off? But I made sure that even on my first website, I had questions right there. Like, are you struggling with belly bloat? Are you struggling mm -hmm. to lose weight naturally? Like I had key questions. Are, are you struggling with eczema? Are you struggling with food allergies and intolerances? Like, do you even know what foods are affecting you? Mm -hmm. I had key questions that pulled them in. That's what we want to do with the copy on our website. Mm -hmm. so it goes to our website. You want to have great home about me, 
work with me, Mm -hmm. blog, contact me. Or you can also have a work with me free tool, Mm -hmm. blog, and contact. And on that free tool page, you want to have these mini steps for that person who's going to go to your signature offer. So you want to think about your website, and then you want to think about your high converting opt-in freebies and workshops. Mm -hmm. The reason that I say workshops is let's just, I know everyone wants to take their business online, but some people are more comfortable speaking in front of people live. Mm -hmm. Not as comfortable maybe doing a workshop online, which you're going to get comfortable. We're going to talk about that today very in very simple terms. But you want to have three workshops, just like Michelle was saying Mm -hmm. in the beginning. She was like, I knew these areas that I wanted to dive into. Those were the workshops that organically were created. Mm -hmm. I always said three workshops so that I could approach a wellness center, chiropractor's office, even a hair salon, even a nail salon a coffee shop, um, a health food market, like all these different places that had a nice little area to be able to do a workshop. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to elevate the experience for their clients. The same workshops can be done online. So if you are getting in the habit of creating a Facebook group, which I still think is an amazing place to nurture a community. You can have a great Facebook group and you can be doing those workshops, one workshop a month into that group, a nice workshop to get people to sign up for your discovery call, and then weekly lives into that group to nurture them and make them see how different your teachings are than other people. This is a place for you to showcase your teachings and also share your ins and outs. I mean, in my Facebook group, I in the ones that I created for health, I always shared about having ulcerative colitis, having asthma, being on life support, um, food allergies, sensitivities, mindset issues, imposter syndrome. A lot of people with gut are perfectionists. So I talked mm-hmm. a lot about perfection. I talked also about weight loss. I talked a lot about detox. I talked about the things that I needed to do and the things that I do with my clients. So those workshops can also be done online in that format. The live that you do in a Facebook group or a pre-recorded video can also be put on YouTube and it can be driving people back to your Facebook group. Mm -hmm. have a signature freebie in that Facebook group. Say you specialize in weight loss. It's great to have like the five-day metabolic jumpstart that we have. If you specialize in gut, it's great to do the gut challenge in your your group and think about how you can rotate these freebies Mm -hmm. and have it on like a six-month rotation so that you have six different freebies that solve problems that you can do a workshop on that you can do live so that you can start gearing your Facebook group so that you don't feel overwhelmed on what content to put in there. Remember, people are in there because you're solving a problem. So you want to think of a great Facebook name because people are going to be searching for that name. You want to also be setting up your socials. Mm -hmm. It's great to set up Facebook and Instagram. You can have the same content. Some Mm -hmm. people like to do it at different times. You could have Facebook go out at a different time than Instagram, but you want to have your Facebook business page set up because I know for me, anytime that I am searching somebody, I go right on Facebook. Yeah, me too. I hire Mm -hmm. them. I go on Facebook and it's also your Facebook business page is great for search engine optimization. Mm -hmm. The first thing that shows up when you Google your name, And so I always say having a consistent presence there, same thing. You could be in the free sign up on your business page, driving people to your Facebook group or driving people to your high converting freebie. So these high converting freebies are really essential to get them to the next step of your paid offer, or of course your discovery session and then your paid offer. I like to know, as Michelle was saying, what is my signature process? I like to know what that signature offer is going to be. And then it's easy to start Mm -hmm. picking out the freebies. Michelle, do you want to talk a little about signature process and why it's so essential for conversion? Yeah, you need to like, that's the first question that anyone even asks, like on a discovery call, when you get to that point, you're like, yeah, you know, I'd love to walk you, you know, you know, walk hand in hand with you for the next six months or three months and help you get this result. You know, the common question back is like, well, how, how are we going to do that? 
like? What exactly is the process? What does it look like? How's it different from what I'm doing now? Exactly. And if you don't know that, then that's going to be a problem. So you want to make sure that you can clearly say like, I mean, going back even in my own, it was like, okay, first we're going to go through a detox phase. Then from there, I'm going to get you on a clean eating path. Then we're going to, you know, really take like what we learned in the detox phase and eliminate some of those foods during that time too. You know, like it, there was just a, a supplements. There were certain things that I would add in at different phases and that helped me go through that, you know, with, with that client. And it's the same thing. So like, if you know what your process is, um, that, and that's why the done for you programs are so great, because if you know the type of food are, you know, are they going to be on a vegan, uh, plan? Do they need to be plant-based? Do they need to know be what the solution is that you provide? I think that's the really important thing. It's like knowing if you're, for example, if you're a let's just say staying in the gut specialist, if you're a gut specialist, but you want to work with highly stressed women, mm -hmm. you might find that like part of your signature process is to take them through the stress course. Yeah. Or to have a freebie that is about, have one that's about gut, have one that's about stress um, so that you start to really speak to that stressed out woman. You might find that you are known for gut and that you're, like I said, taking them through step one, which is a stress course and ending with a gut program. You know, it's really important for you when you're on that phone conversation to know what your offer includes and to also use that verbiage from your market research back to them. Because for example, when Michelle said clean eating path, like know with conviction what that means. If you're using the word clean eating or clean eats or or any of the verbiage that we use, like AIP or autoimmune, know what exactly that offer entails. So on the phone, you're really clear in saying to them what exactly the offer is and how it's going to take them from step A to Z. Yeah. Yeah. And really knowing which, you know, making sure it relates to the problems. I love that you brought in like the stress course because that all of that really goes back to the different ideal clients, right? So what do they need? How are you positioning it? It could also be the same exact path, right? Like detox phase one, you know, clean eating or, or a gut program, but it's going to be positioned differently for each of those ideal clients. You know, I forget their names, but, um, you know, the, the, the one who has no time, Mary. Yeah, you know, like one of them could be really, they feel like they have no time. So you might be talking about, well, I provide you with you know, these recipes and you don't have, they don't take a lot of time. You know, it's very easy. You could meal prep in one day and you have everything done for the whole week. You know, you wouldn't even be doing anything, but opening up your Tupperware container, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, you freeze them. You batch That's them. what we do. <laughs> yeah, yeah the same. So, you know, it's like, you know, but other people, they don't know that on the other end of the phone, you have to be able to express it to them and, and also really highlight the level of coaching and support that you really give, whether that's email support, that's Voxer support, that's, you know, um, a, a special uh, Facebook group container, yeah. um, you know, what is, or you're using like a cool app, like there's all these new apps now where you can like chat back and forth in their private group. So, you know, really knowing your level of coaching support, you know, in addition to the path that you walk them through. And I think it's really important also the other piece to making money and how to really grow your business is your discovery call process. Mm -hmm. So we talked about your freebies. Remember your freebie on your website. I want you to think of that free tool page, but I also want you to think of that freebie above the fold. That means that in your banner, like this quick call to action that they can take a really great example. Let me actually show Amber Shaw because she's just such a great example. Oh, I didn't even know you can screen share on here. That's pretty nifty. Oh, yeah. We can do anything on StreamYard. Huh. Okay. Let me screen share. Okay. So this is the amazing Amber. She is in my membership. I love her. I love her clarity when she's just stunning, but what's stunning is also her website. What she does great is she has a really clear, um, 
really clear message, rediscover the confident, free and empowered you. Stop guiding the way through life and find true food. She also, guys, has an amazing podcast and she was on my podcast. So go to rachelafeldman.com because she talks about how she was able to get to six figures pretty fast. And you can see right here, it's bringing right her click here and it brings right to her freebie. This is our little black dress. It's really cute, but she calls it her boot camp made it her own. And you can see it's not fancy, but it works. So right here, you can see that she also on her site has it on the front page. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, with uh, clear messaging, she knows who she's helping, what problems she's solving. And that's all that truly matters. Aesthetics are great. The website looks beautiful, but you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, her messaging there is, is getting her those clients. She's clear on, on who she serves. And she's got her work with me page, which she's got an, she's got an eight week, I think it's an eight week mindset for weight loss program. Um, something that we have, we definitely have also, if you do specialize in weight loss, we have a 60 day weight loss. We have a 60 day anti-dieting weight loss program. And we also have a 21 day weight loss program. We have a 30 day metabolism program. So if this is something that you're needing to talk about, you can always reach out to me. I also have a lot of people who use our three month mindset makeover as a weight loss program. Um, had a few people who also work in gyms who like to do that program because mindset for what mindset for weight loss you see right here she has her breakthrough session her discovery call there's another toolkit hormonal fat loss toolkit and you'll see right here she has free resources Intermittent fasting is a really big part of her program as well. So she has that showing people exactly free community, free program, 10 day mama quick fix. I have to find out what that is, but you can see right there from going through her website um, that there's such clarity and that's what we wanted to take you through today is how do you get to the point of clarity? I really want you, it's not difficult. I have so many different videos on niche. I have so many different videos on pillars, so many different, there's so many different free, amazing resources in this world for you guys. Yeah. I think the biggest is don't be scared to pick a niche. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared to niche down. Don't be scared to do your ideal client avatar. It's really important to know the kind of people that you attract. Even if you have no experience right now and you're just coming out of the gate, Niche clarity, ideal client, website, your freebies, your signature offer. I have a lot of coaches who um, contact me, need to get on a Zoom call and kind of go over which program to pick. I can always do that if that's where, if that's something that is kind of troubling you. Um, sometimes it's easy to, like I said, talk it out with a person. And that's the other thing is if you don't have a coach right now, talk it out with your peers, talk it out with your significant other, talk mm -hmm. it out with a friend, you know, explain to them what you do and why you do it. And I think that's the really important thing is never forget your why. Always go back to those stories that happened when you were younger or in your teens or in your 20s and 30s. I will end with this. Create something called a hero timeline. This is where you can um, go through all of your history to figure out what are those stories that you need to tell, those micro moments, and figure out when, when was the time that you dropped your knees? Mm -hmm. What were the problems that you had? What were you doing? Were you taking antacids and Tums? I mean, I lived on those kind of things. What medication were you put on when you went to the doctor? Think of all the things that you've experienced so that you can relate that to your ideal client, because at the end of the day, you're not just building a business, you're building a business of trust. People buy people, they don't buy products. But when you can marry that product and that signature process in with your story, the right messaging, you yeah. will make money. But you've also got to be visible. And I will just say that. Do your hero timeline, see your hero journey timeline, see what are the things that you did. Um, Make sure that you write that down. Look at that every day. 
write down your ideal client avatars, look at their problems, do your market, continue to do market research, get people on discovery calls, but make sure that you have that process nailed out so you know what to sound in discovery call. You can actually go into our free group. There's a discovery call template, which gives you a really nice um, framework for how to structure your discovery calls and practice them, guys. Mm -hmm. Everything about mm -hmm. this practice. Practice getting visible. If you're overwhelmed and you're scared to do a video, open up that PowerPoint. You don't just have to do a video like this. Open up that PowerPoint. Give your intro story in the beginning. Ask some questions, open-ended questions. Get people start thinking about the problems. Go through the PowerPoint and end it. There's not going to be a time that you are going to be like overwhelmed and you're going to wake up the next morning and not feel overwhelmed. You've just got to get yourself in a position where you say, I'm going to push through this fear because my why is so great. I'm going to think about my ideal clients and the different messaging. And remember, not every social media post is going to be for everyone. You want to gear those social media posts to really be hitting your ideal client's pain points so that they stop the scroll, so that you stop the scroll. You start building that community and you grow your business. So guys, if you have any questions, I see one is low black dress still available. Yes, it is. It's on our website. Um, if you have any questions on how to find it, please reach out to me, whether it's a personal message or reach out to me at yourhealthcoachbiz.com and you can drop a message in there. And if you say, hey, I need Rachel's help, mm -hmm. <laughs> I will make sure to respond to that email. Um, Michelle, do you have anything you want to add before we close out? Yeah, I think that if you just make sure that you're you're moving forward, you know, and you're you're just trying it out and you're doing the little things and little by little, that's how you get growth. And with every client that you help, with every success story that builds your confidence, you know, every just positive feedback, even if you didn't sign a client yet, you're brand new, but someone messaged you after they saw your social media post, taking that stuff in and just like a real small side note, what I love to do is having like a folder. And I did this early on too. And like saving the positive things, like mm -hmm. those testimonials. I used to save a folder actually in my email. Um, and I would just organize them that way. And whenever I felt like, like, I don't know, like I, I, my confidence was low or a second guessing, am I, am I on the right path? You know, um, I would go back and I would read those and, and remind myself, like, I'm here yeah. to help people. And That's like, important. Important, you know, I think that mindset piece of knowing that you can do this business, it's one thing to go through school and course and certification, but it's another thing to actually start that business. And have the confidence to show up, have the confidence to have people say no to you and know that it's not a no to you. It's a no. It's it's a no to the fact that they don't trust you enough and that maybe the positioning of your signature offer is not clear. So that's why I want to leave with like, have that conviction that you know what you're doing. Make sure that you believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And do the work to do the work to ensure that do that inner work that's going to allow you to be able to show up even when you feel like you may be stupid or you don't know enough or all of those things that come into play. I can't tell you how many years I've struggled with stuff like that. And I just say, you know what, there's someone out there that needs to hear this message. And it's like pushing through that fear embracing the fear and showing up confidently. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure to be with you. If you have any questions, you know where to reach us and we hope that you have an amazing day. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye, Michelle.